everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. I hope it is going amazing with all of you today and right now in this video we're gonna check out two upcoming guns coming to COD Mobile in the future. One fully automatic pistol which might break COD Mobile as well as also a very powerful submachine gun as well which is a three round burst. So without out of the way here we go. Also, I do want to say do not forget to smack that sub button if you have not done so already. But now, let's check out these two new guns. So if you guys remember, a couple of days ago I made a video on the new assault rifle coming to the game in Season 5, and that is the Odin. But also, in that public test build, there was two other guns as well. Let's discuss the first one, which is going to be a new pistol known as the Alcar 9 from Black Ops 3. Now this is a fully automatic pistol and it will be the first fully automatic pistol in COD Mobile and this thing is essentially a pocket SMG. It's an SMG which is a pistol very easy to use and it's actually very good at the same time. So your damage profiles are going to be as follows, 30 up and close, will drop to 29, then to 22 and then to 19. Also, do keep in mind, these stats I'm reading you guys is from the game this gun was in. It'll probably be quite different when it does come to COD Mobile. Now, this gun was a 4 to 6 shot kill, 4 up close, 6 at a distance, but usually it would be a 5 shot kill. Now, your 4 shot range is 10 meters and your 5 shot range is 19 meters. And what makes this gun so good is the actual rate of fire. The rate of fire is really good at 720 rounds per minute. Now, your time to kill is pretty average for almost all ranges. The mag size is going to be 20 and extended mags is going to be 28. Now, recoil on the gun is pretty moderate to high. It's pretty inconsistent overall, but it's definitely still still pretty easy to use, it doesn't make it difficult to use, it's just not very accurate overall. Now also the gun does have a good hip fire spread which is very good, the ADS time is going to be 100 milliseconds which is pretty average. Now your reload time is going to be 1.5 seconds and just overall the gun is just very easy to use overall. It's a fully automatic pistol, essentially a pocket SMG, it's an SMG as a pistol. Very easy to use and it's pretty good overall. Like I feel like this might end up being the best pistol in COD Mobile considering right now we don't have any fully automatic pistols. The closest thing right now we have to this is probably the Renetti which is a burst pistol. Nothing like this currently in the game. So this might end up being the new best secondary in COD Mobile but obviously we're gonna have to wait and see how it does work in COD Mobile. Also I do want to say that I'm not exactly sure when this gun is coming to COD Mobile. It might come alongside the Odin. We are gonna have to wait and see what does happen. Potentially we could see this in Season 5 or it might come out later on in Season 6, we are going to have to wait and see. As soon as we do get closer to the actual release of Season 5, I'll definitely let you guys know when to expect this gun. But like I said, it was in the beta, we might end up seeing this in Season 5, let's wait and see what does happen. Now the other gun which was found in the beta is the KSP-45 from Black Ops Cold War. It's a three round burst, very powerful, but not as easy to use as other weapons. It's definitely gonna take quite a bit of mastering before you get the hang of this gun. I also do want to say I believe this gun will probably end up coming out in season six. Now let's discuss the damage profiles. So 50 up and close, very good. Drops down to 38 and then 35 at long ranges. Meaning up and close you can get a one burst kill. It'll then drop off to four shots and then to five shots at long ranges. The rate of fire is going to be 722 rounds per minute and you do have a burst delay as well so do keep that in mind of 88 milliseconds. Your potential time to kill with one burst up and close is absolutely insane at 186 milliseconds which is just insane. Now do keep in mind if you do end up missing that one burst kill you then do have to deal with that 88 milliseconds burst delay and then shoot again. 
but it's not the worst ever burst delay. It's quite forgiving, actually. Now, the bullet velocity is very bad on this gun. It is 200 meters per second, which is very, very slow, making it hard to stay accurate at long range fights. Now, the actual ranges is gonna be for a one burst kill up to 15 meters, and then it'll drop off to four shots up until 25 meters. It also does have very good hip fire up and close. Ideally, you're gonna wanna run this gun up and close and try to get that one burst kill. Also, considering the bullet velocity is so slow, it makes a lot more sense to run this gun up and close and also get some sort of barrel on there as soon as possible just to help with that slow bullet velocity. Now, when it comes comes to recoil, it has a pretty awkward recoil overall, it's pretty random. You get a lot of horizontal recoil and a little vertical recoil as well, but it doesn't kick far from the area you're aiming at. It has this weird, awkward side to side wobble, it just doesn't have the tightest burst ever. Now. Your aim down sight time is going to be 275 milliseconds and your reload time is going to be 1.57 seconds, which is pretty normal overall. So this gun is pretty good overall. You have a very good time to kill potential, which is absolutely insane yet again. It's really good hip firing up and close as well. The gun is just good in general up and close and you have a pretty forgiving burst delay for a burst gun. But you have to keep in mind it has a very slow bullet velocity and the bursts are not that accurate at long ranges. So that is the brand new SMG coming to COD Mobile in the future. A new three round burst SMG which can one burst very quickly up and close. So there you guys go, that is two new guns coming to COD Mobile in the future. It seems like the KSP is gonna come to COD Mobile in Season 6 and we might end up seeing the Alcar 9 in Season 5, but obviously we are gonna have to wait and see. I will confirm about the pistol once we get closer to Season 5. So for now, just bear with me. But yeah, two new guns coming to the game. Which one are you more excited about? And do not forget about the Odin as well, the brand new Assault Rifle. I will have that video linked down below if you have not seen that gameplay of it in COD Mobile right now. Definitely go ahead and check that out. But with that being said, guys, that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you did enjoy it. Thank you so much for all the support. We're about to hit 200k, which is absolutely insane. So thank you for watching. I hope all of you guys do have a great weekend or great week whenever you do end up watching this video. And for now, that's going to be all from me and Squally out. Catch you next one and cheers. Bye.